Today I have a Black & Decker 24 volt cordless uh, lawn mower uh, disassemble and show you what's inside this uh, cordless lawn mower. Alright, so I've removed the top and this one inside look like so we got the brush motor right here we got two lead acid batteries 12 volt lead acid battery these are I think it's uh, sealed lead acid battery so you can't uh, add more acid into it or water and up here we got a controller right. and up measure the voltage of the two batteries and they are about six volts which is pretty much that but uh, I might be able to revive them um, if they are discharged for a long time uh, sometimes if you charge them up uh, they can still be usable for some light duty stuff and this controller here I can still use if it's still working to control the motor if I want to build something later on like a scooter or a go-kart go this would be great to run the motor alright so I've completed gutted out everything inside the hole in the middle there is a motor so I just have to remove the three screws there to remove the motor and I got everything out alright let me show you my loops you got four wheels okay uh, a 24 volt burst motor a 24 volt motor controller and this is the uh, gas pedal for the motor okay and a 24 volt charger and we got a 24 volt uh, gauge this is a very useful thing. Um, it's a gauge for a 24 volt battery system. So you plug this into a 24 volt and so you add a it's empty. You got an E, an E and an F. So on the left is empty, on the right is full. I'm gonna show you later how uh, you can use this. And what else we got? We got a pair of 12 volt lead acid battery not these uh, this is mine I'm trying to charge these two batteries and uh, they are completely dead I cannot revive them uh, I've seen uh, I've seen some uh, video online people use Epsom salt or adding water to this battery um, I've tried before many times before and uh, it never worked Probably these batteries are so faded, so bad that uh, it's not uh, taking a charge anymore, no matter what you do to it. So, that'd be much it for the batteries. Uh, but the thing is, if you want to buy batteries like this in a store, like a Walmart, and you don't have a dead battery, uh, to return they will charge you a call charge for $15 each battery so it's a good thing to save this battery in case you need to buy uh, you know some of these battery for your project okay? if you don't have a call return you're gonna be charged extra $15 each so it's a good thing to uh, to keep it even though it's already dead okay so 
That is pretty much all we have here. I'm going to show you later on how to use all this stuff. And first let me show you what I can do with these wheels. This is my dolly. Okay, this is my dolly. And I'll show you this wheel here. This is the front wheel of the lawnmower. It exactly matches my dolly wheel. See that? Exactly the same size. Doesn't look the same, but it's exactly the same size. So I can use this wheel to uh, replace my dolly wheel when it goes bad. When it's time to replace uh, my dolly's wheel. Or look at this wheel. It's like. You know, a uh, couple inches, maybe three, four inches bigger. And if I want to upgrade a new rim for my dolly, I can just put this in. It looks nicer, right? Isn't it? It's like up upgrading new rims for your car. I'm upgrading new rims for my dolly. Anyway, I can use this for something else. Also. Alright, let me show you how I can use this stuff. First of all, um, is the uh, charger. So the mower comes with this wall charger. 120 volts AC plug in. The wall outlet. And it's got a connector here. That you can plug in the charging board. And you can plug it in here. And then it comes out with the two uh, red and black cable so that uh, you can charge your 24 volt battery system. And I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to show you how I can use this to charge a couple of 12 volt uh, lead acid batteries. Alright, so I've just plugged it in the wall outlet and the LED light turns green and I've got a pair of two 12 volt lead acid batteries and they are connected right now in series two of them to produce 24 volts and let me show you the voltage at 25.9 volts okay. and let's plug this in plug the charger in see what happens in right there. That's the negative end and that is the positive end. And I'm showing you the voltage right now. 28.1 is charging. So it was at 25.9 I believe and now it's 28.1. 0.2, 0 0.3 is going up. So it's charging fine. LED light here, it's turning red, it's charging. So basically you can use this to charge um, any 24 volt uh, battery system like this one. So you can use this to, a 24 volt charger to charge any 24 volt battery system. Uh, a lot of RV, recreational vehicle use a uh, 24 volt system and you can use this to charge the RV battery system and uh, a lot of electric toys like uh, electric scooter 
like this Razer E200 uh, electric scooter. It uses two 12 volt lead acid batteries that uh, you can use this charger to charge this scooter. And here is the charger for the uh, Razer 24 volt electric scooter. If you look down here on the specs of the scooter charger, let's say output 24 volts. So that's exactly the same output as this charger. And uh, also, there are many electric bikes out there that use uh, lead acid batteries uh, that are 24 volts. And you can use this charger to charge the electric bike batteries also. And next, we got another cool toy here. This is the gauge, battery gauge. And uh, you can use this not only for 24 volt battery system, but uh, also for any batteries that's over 17 volts. I think the minimum uh, voltage for this gauge for the needle to turn is around 17 to 18 volts which is perfect for these cordless tool battery first let me show you uh, how this gauge works so it's got a positive and negative terminal and all you got to do is to plug it into the positive and negative terminal of your battery system see if I can do this with one hand here and it's positive Let's see the negative one see it, it turn see the gauge the needle turn my batteries are completely full see that from empty to full there you go empty full empty full alright pretty easy to use uh, straight forward and next I can also use this gauge to measure how much juice my cordless tool batteries have and I got a few uh, cordless tool batteries here and all I have to do is to uh, plug it into the positive and negative end of the batteries. Most of these batteries uh, don't have a gauge, like this portable cable battery here, no gauge. This black and decker battery here also has no gauge. The DeWalt does have a gauge, but uh, this is for to use if your battery doesn't have a gauge. You know, and you just want to know how much juice it has. So let me show you a few of these. Just plug it in here. And boom. I did it the wrong way, so the needle go to the left instead of going to the right. Let's try it again. So negative to negative, I did it the other way boom there you go this one is pretty much full uh, the reason why it only goes to the middle is this gauge measure up to 26 27 volt this battery went full only 21 volts so that's why it only goes to the middle when it's full so I can mark right here say full or 21 volts okay this battery here is pretty much uh, empty it's completely discharged and it's around 16 volts right now so when I plug this in the needle doesn't move right doesn't move so because it doesn't need it doesn't have a minimum voltage required to run this gauge which is around 17 volts so that's why you know that's how I know this is this needs to be charged right 
and let's see this one got one bar and let's see what we got here see the needle only moves just a little bit see that just a little bit so I'll go up all the way up to here when full it was all the way here so I can mark here and say you know uh, empty or need to be charged okay, let's try this right OB battery So this Ryobi battery is also, uh, it's about 50% now, maybe less than 50%. Yeah, engage is right here. And let's try this, the Walt battery. You can see, needs to be charged also. Right. How about this battery here, black conductor? There you go. It's pretty low right now. See how it needs to be charged. Alright. Alright, last but not least, we got a controller here. I try to hook it up to my uh, battery bank and it doesn't do anything so this controller is busted but uh, just gone to the trash but that doesn't stop me from just playing with this so let's have some fun yeah so I hook it up to a 12 volts my 12 volt battery here a negative end over there this is a positive end of the motor Let's try it, just try with 12 volt because, uh, well, this is 24 volt motor, but for sure it would run 12 volts also. I don't want to hook it up directly to a 24 volt because it's gonna spark real bad. Well, even at 12 volts, it already sparked real bad. You see the spark? you the spark on my terminal that is a spark it used to be pristine condition like this but look at the sparks pretty bad let's try again from this angle see the spark is that cool Uh, more of one. So, that's all about it. My next project is uh, probably build a uh, go kart out of this motor. Just uh, need a controller. Alright folks, and uh, that's all I have for now. Until next time, and uh, thanks for watching.